Hey guys, what's up? Kristen from Game Meets Girl, and I'm going to show you guys how to do cool custom alerts for XSplit Broadcaster using Streamlabs. It's going to be really awesome. First, make sure you got your XSplit Broadcaster open, because um, I'm going to show you guys how to add cool scenes to it. But, go to Streamlabs. Go to Streamlabs.com and log in with your Twitch or your YouTube gaming ID. Go to the alert box. You can create awesome and custom alerts there. Um, click the show the widget. This is going to be where you're going to get your alert box from. So you're going to copy and paste that as a browser source in. So if you go to um, your follows, your general settings, mess with all this stuff, you can either do custom um, animations like I did and key them out. So I just filmed myself with my green screen, made sure everything was a flat matte green, and then I created this video that I turned into a GIF that I turned into this awesome thing. So it's it's going to be awesome. Okay, so we're going to add other web page URL. We're going to copy and paste the, the, the URL we just got from Streamlabs. And then we're going to go up and hit test follow. So check that out. So it already works, it already sounds great. Can you hear it? Already works, already sounds great. Um, what we're gonna do now is we can adjust it. We can adjust it, we can do all sorts of cool stuff with this. So if we go into the custom source, we can change the size of it. I want mine to be like longer. I'm gonna make it like 1500 by 600 or something like that. I'm going to apply that. And then I'm going to add a chroma key to it, which should chroma key it out. All right, and that sounds good. Let's click out of that. Hit test follow again. Oh, look at that. Looks great. Now, we got it the exact size that I want, the look that I want, everything that I'm going for. So now you have your alert set up a much easier way than I did in my original tutorial where we had to capture the alert box separately. Now we can just add it into XSplit with these new updates through the browser URL. It's already transparent. You can add a green screen chroma key if you want. If you have some, you know, custom gifts that you made of yourself like I did. Uh, another cool thing that they added into Stream Alerts. So is that they added donation goals, and you guys have probably seen these before where you get the bars. Same idea, you can customize that. They added donation tickers, where it can ticker at the bottom. Same idea, you'll have the name and the amount, you can have how many you want ticker, if you want it to scroll, if you want it to be, you know, flat. Another thing that people kept requesting was a chat box. Um, this is the cleanest and easiest chat box to add to your stream. If you, like, have a game in 4x3, I say add it, you know, go ahead and add the chat. But if you're streaming on Twitch, they added a, a replay with the chat live. So if that was your problem, you wanted to see what the replay was, and you wanted to add it to your chat, add your chat to your screen, there's a way to do it. Or if you have, like, a certain scene where you want your chat on the screen, like maybe you're just talking to the camera explaining things, and you want your chat on your screen, here's the way to do it. Um, you can have it show different badges, you can have different themes, you can, you know, you can make it, um, boxed, clean, old school, chunky, whatever your theme is, you can customize it to that. And that is something that I really, um, enjoy and think is a really cool way to animate and throw a chat in your stream. So, as an update to the last XSplit video, Hopefully you guys enjoyed my tutorial, and if you guys like these kind of tech tutorials for streaming and stuff like that, please let me know in the comments. I'd really appreciate it. Alright guys, thank you so much. Make good choices. I'll see you guys later.